Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Oh, uh, pretty good, thanks for asking. You know, excellent, just ready to start a class. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me to do that. And um, how are you? It's how was your you know your day? It was good, successful, interesting. It was busy. So how was it? It was a little busy. Yeah, I imagine. So you know that's the sometimes happens, right? Depending on the day too, and sometimes there are some jobs are very very busy all the time. Okay, and also you know a week is going, so we try to take advantage. Okay, let's see. There are some students joining the class this this night. And um, do you practice English during the day? A little. A little, okay. Yes, I, I imagine. But there are some strategies that maybe can be very helpful to, to learn. For example, you know, listening know to music or watching television in english maybe they can help you like series or videos too there are interesting videos that maybe we can also you know try to watch to learn about vocabulary reading books there are incredible strategies that maybe could be useful and also the challenge about a time but we can also work with that and um in it, I don't know, it was when I was coming home it, it was raining I don't know if it was raining where where you live, or it is raining right now. How is the weather? It's raining right now. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I, I understand that. Yeah, because there were some time that it was not raining, but now it's raining, so we feel comfortable with that. Okay, much better. And um, yeah, so that, that happens, right? You know, life is like that. You know, we had to enjoy the rain because you know the weather was not so friendly these days. Okay, before that we start, I just want to ask you um, what we studied in the last class. What do you remember we studied? What do you remember about this one? Tell me. We express likes and dislikes uh, in questions. Okay. Yes, I know that. Yeah, we, we had this, you know, the chance. What else? What else we did? Okay, what else you remember we started? Yes. The way, the way to answer would. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, the way that we answer it, especially when we um, invite, right? When we invite someone to do something in a formal way. So we use would, like, would you like to go to the party with us? And also the ways in which we can respond and the way that we answer in a positive and a negative way too. Because sometimes we had to, well, we had to be very kind when we answer it, when we say, no, we refuse an invitation. Like, oh, uh, I think I would love to go with you, but in this moment, I have a lot of work to do, so I won't be able to go. So you, you are like thinking about the way in which you can respond in a formal way. Okay. So let's continue with the with the class. I want to ask you, and we studied a little bit about the family. And also we were talking about, you know, the family members and, and uh, this vocabulary, but I have a challenge for you. So I'm going to uh, present the topic for this class. Look at the following video conference. And also this conference is called you know, the, the main topic about the present continues. And we were talking about the, the family tree, like the father, mother, brother, sister, vocabulary that you know. But in this case, you will help me to uh to match the to match 
and uh, the family tree. And we have uh, this information right now. Can you see my screen? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So look at the example. Fill in the correct English word uh, for the given phrase. Look at this one. Look at this part. It says the husband of your aunt. What is the, what is this one? Help me with that. Uncle. Okay. Okay, so the husband of your aunt is, uh, well, in that case, the uncle, right? Exactly, that's that's good. You can you can check here the, the statement. Look at the, the number two. What do you think this could be? Hello? Number two, a person's father or mother. What is that? Check this one. And also, if you know the answer, I need your help because we were going to check this one. What could be the possible? Grandma or grandpa? Okay, could be a possibility. Okay. Anyone? Any idea about it? So it says a person's father or mother. What is that? Parents. Okay, could be parents. Okay. Yeah, because it's, you know, they are parents in that case. That, that is a good choice. Excellent. Look at the next one. Number three, your your brother's wife is what? Sister in law. Or brother-in-law. Because it says your brother's wife. So that we could say. Sister-in-law. 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 Aha. All right. In Spanish, it would be, as we say, cuñada, right? Yeah, so okay. Say, yeah, sister-in-law. That is the word. Okay. That is the word. Excellent. We have number three. Let's see the number four it is of your sister. Check this one. Nephew. It's nephew. Nephew. Let's see, did you say nephew? Yes. Okay, so let me check. Okay, that's correct. In that case, the answer is nephew. Yes. That's okay. Well, great point on this one. And what about the number five? It says a person's female female child. What is that? Think about it. Girl. Okay. Also, um, we can say also a daughter, right? It's a person, the female child is a daughter. You can see here. Look at the chat so we can update. 
Number six, look at the number six and think about the possible answer we have in this case. The father of your father. Grandfather. Grandfather. Father. Ah, okay. The grandfather. People say grand. Well, some other people say grandpa, but it's in a in a personal Informa. Yeah, a kind of informal, in a personal way. But you know, grandfather is the best choice. So let's add here this one. Look at the chat. Okay, look at the chat here, grandfather. Next, um, it says, a child of your uncle. Cousin. Same. Cousin. Cousin. A child of your uncle, in that case, is a cousin. Yes. Cousins. Next one. The father of your father. Look at this. Grandfather. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> yeah, so in that case, we have like the number six, number seven. You will you will check here the um, in the chat the possible answers we have, and we go with the next one that in that case is the number eight. Two sons of mother and father. Who are they? Who are they? Siblings? It says, um, yeah, it could be siblings. That is a good choice. And another one. Because there are two sons specifically. And uh, the sums are between them, they are brothers. Exactly, they are brothers. Yes, exactly. So in that case, they are brothers because they are two sons of mother and father. That's the way. And the number nine, it says a woman on her wedding day. Bride. Bride. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right because you know it's her wedding day, so. It's like celebration, yeah. Okay, let me write it here, it's in the chat. Look at this. Okay, so it's important to know about the family members and we can see this these um, statements. Uh, and so we had to see if they are, you know, relatives because when we're talking about cousins, brothers and, uh, Nephew, niece, we're talking about, um, you know, relatives. We say parents to say father and mother, grandparents to say father and grandfather and grandmother, and then the, the, the family too, like cousins, niece, nephew, uncle, aunt, and then um, if they, they, they are stepbrothers, stepsisters, stepfather, stepmother, so we can see this family tree. Um, any comment about this part? Any comment? No comments? Hello? No. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have the following topic. This topic is called Present Continuous. This topic will be a kind of backup for you because the present continuous is a very interesting grammar structure. When we talk about present continuous, we talk about an action that is happening at the time of speaking. That is the main point of this one. Look at this. And, uh, and we talk about an action that is happening. For example, I am speaking 
You are paying attention. We are watching the screen. Um, she is writing in the book. I am listening to the teacher. They are watching the sentences. So we use uh, present continuous to talk about continuous actions, actions are already happening. And the present continuous has its structure. So we have the positive, negative questions and short answers, and also with ing. This is the famous uh, combination between the present, simple, the verb be, and the ing form. Look at this one. We have the positive. Look at the example. I am working. You are working. He is working. She is working. It is working. We are working. They are working. In this case, we will use the personal pronouns or names, and we will use the verb be conjugated. I am, you are, he is, etc. And you can see the contraction, the contracted form, like um, you are, his, she's, it's, we are, they are. So we can see these structures. And also we have the negative form. I'm not, I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not. We are not and they are not. We can see this part. And check the contractions in a negative form. I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, they aren't. We see the, the negative form and working. I am not working. Teacher, I am paying attention. I am listening to the teacher. I am completing the homework. I am watching television. Actions that are happening. In this case, we see the structures for present, pre present, positive, and also negative, and also questions we have here. Am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are they? So we can check this form and plus the verb and ing. You can see that we use the, the personal pronoun plus the verb be and the verb with ing. And look at downstairs, ing spelling. Work and study, we say working, studying. And in that case, the general rule, we add ing. Playing, dancing, working, studying, using. And look at this one. When it's ends in E, we delete E and we add ing, right? Like the rule, live, living, make, making. So you eliminate E and add ing. So consonant plus less D, delete and ing. Living, making, filling, etc. And also a consonant plus vowel plus consonant stressed. Double the consonant. Run, running, swim, swimming. Those are like the basic um, rules for the verbs with ing form, like playing, dancing, going, studying, using, traveling, filling, painting, walking, saying, trying, falling, etc. So there are verbs with ing form. In that case, the ing form is, co is called gerund. Es utilizado como un gerundio. That's the name. In este caso, le agregamos ing form para que diga jugando, cantando, comiendo, bailando. This is the, the general structures about the, the present continuous. I am playing video games. Estoy jugando videojuegos. My brother is traveling to Mexico. Mi hermano está viajando a México. Actions that are happening. And there are uh, some rules related to the present continuous, but this is the general information about that one. 
The best way to learn is by practicing. Look at this one. We have uh, some examples here. Who wants to help me to read this information about the number one? Who wants to help me to read this part? I did sure. To describe. Okay. <laughs> Dale. No, no, two, two, two. This part. This part. Yes. Present continuous tense, also called present progressive tense, is used to describe actions that are currently uh, ongoing or that may occur in the future. The present tense is usually used in four general cases to describe an event that is currently occurring. For example, I am watching television. She is currently completing her work. Children are playing in the park. Okay, thank you so much. We're, we will stop here and appreciate it. So we can check here that also called present progressive. So the topic, the name is present continuous and present progressive. You can call both of them, right? Uh, the goal is to describe actions that are currently happening, situations that are happening in the present time, Act, active actions, and also describe events that are happening. And look at the examples. I am watching television. That means the person is watching TV in this moment. She's currently completing her work. In this moment, we are working. And children are playing in the park. The action is happening and they are playing. Okay, a volunteer for their number two. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Uh, number two, list of coming events. For example, what are you going to wear tomorrow? I hear that you are coming to the evening party. So you are moving to the parties to the parties next month. Thank you so much. And um, well, in that case, we use the present continuous, as she said, to talk about a list of upcoming events. I mean, events that are like happening, occurring, and uh, situations that are happening in the future, we could say it. For example, what are you going to wear tomorrow? You're thinking about something that you are going to wear in the future. The future will be tomorrow. I heard you are coming to the evening party. And that's mean that they are talking about a closed future because something will occur. In that case, that's why it says, I heard that you are coming to the evening party. La acción está, está por suceder, right? Yeah. And also the next one, like you're moving to Paris next month. You're going to the academy the next Friday. I'm playing. I'm playing uh, um, basketball with my friends the next week. So you will say that you are doing something in the future. Okay, this is the other one. Number three, volunteer. Hi, teacher. Number three for length, lengthy action that may be taking place for a temporary period only. For example, he is learning to drive a car. Salima is taking a spoken English course. The teacher is learning a new language at the moment. Thank you. Okay, the first rule is actions that are happening in this moment. The second rule is related to actions that are occurring in the future. The number three is for length, lengthy actions that may be taking place for a temporary period only. So are situations that, that are happening for a period of time. For example, imagine uh, I am reading a book and obviously that the book I will read for a couple of months, for three months or for one month. So it's for a period, a temporary period of time. For example, you say, hey, William, what are you reading? Well, uh, actually, I'm reading uh, a special novel. Um, it's This is a nice book. 
Okay. And when you're going to finish, I think in, in two months, I will finish to read this book because it's very long. So in that case, you are doing something for a period of time. Or for example, you're saying, what are you doing? Well, I'm studying at the university. I'm studying the licenciatura. Okay, great. Congratulations. Thank you. So you're studying for what? Uh, five, five years or six years. So you are doing something for a temporary period of time. Like, for example, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm, I am studying English in the pre-intermediate. Oh, wow. So it's great. So you are studying or doing something for a period of time. And also you can check the, the example, right? And the last one is to discuss a new pattern or habit. These days, almost people are using mobile phones. She's running, she's always running late with deadlines. Ah, I am always um, drinking a lot of water. My brother is always um, walking home because he needs to reduce some pounds. So we do some things as habit in a continuous action. So we can appreciate here the, the examples about this part. So look at this. And those are like we could say general rules about a present continuous acciones que están pasando en este momento, acciones que están que estarán pasando en un futuro cercano, acciones que tienen un periodo de tiempo y acciones que se re realizan como un tipo hábito o costumbre. So those are the rules related to the present continuous. We will work with some examples with some exercises that can help us to um, work with that one and also understand this point. So I will share with you right now this one, one second. The following uh, uh, exercises so you can be familiar with the rules and also learn a little bit. So we, we have like more practice. One second, look at this. Complete these phone conversations using the present continuous. You can see in the first picture, um, what do you see in the first picture? I need a volunteer. What do you see in the first picture? Tell me with that. How you, are you doing? What do you see in the picture? They are talking. Okay, they have a phone call. They are, they are, you know, talking by phone. Okay, they are having a conversation by phone. Okay. And what do you see in the picture number two? They are shopping. Oh, they are shopping. Okay. And also, there are some uh, women talking by phone too. Perhaps they are describing what they are doing or where where they are going, so we can see that one. And um, we there are questions related to the present continuous. How can I ask a question? She should present continuous. What are you doing? That is the very common questions when you want to know what a person is doing. Look at the chat. Hey, William, what are you doing? Um, oh, I am uh, studying English right now. Oh, um, I am having my dinner because it's late and I am hungry. So we can see the examples. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she is studying for the test. What is uh, your brother doing? He is watching television right now. And what are your brothers doing? Ah, they are playing video games right away. So we are like talking about actions that are happening. Okay, what I want you to do is to check the possible um, statement here we, we see and in parentheses we have the verb we have to transfer this uh, sentence in a present continuous form that's what you had to do okay so for this 
I will give you a short time. Try to complete this conversation. And then we will compare together the answers of this conversation. Can we do it? Yes, teacher. Hi. Por, por ejemplo, yo tuve, bueno, incluso aún tengo inconveniente eh, en la plataforma con respecto a esto del presente continuo, de transformar los verbos. Uh -huh. eh, no sé, le he puesto de mil formas, no sé si la forma de, de la escritura o no sé, pero solamente dos, dos respuestas me pudieron salir bien. Entonces, no sé en este aspecto cómo, cómo, cómo hacerla. Porque la, la pregunta es, how is your sister? Está la línea, dice, que transforme el verbo estar y des, days. Entonces, ahí no sé, le pongo studying, pero no me lo acepta. Y pone, por ejemplo, el verbo, like she is. No, sí, ya lo he puesto cheese, study. Ok. No me lo acepta, no. eh, study. If not, you send me a, a, a screenshot about the exercise, email and via, to see okay. what could be the, 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 the mistake, if there is any mistake or something that we can help you. So we can like check the exercise, send uh, the screenshot of the exercise, and we will revise. Okay. Thank you.
Are you ready? Not yet? Yes, teacher. Okay. Are you ready to try? Are you ready to try? Do we check the answers? Yep. Okay, let's check the answers together. Look at the first one. Um, hi, Stephanie. And what's the possible questions? What are you doing? Okay, so you say, what are you doing? Hey, Mark, what's the, what's the answer? I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Mm -hmm. So I am standing or in contractions, I'm standing, right? Mm -hmm. By the chat, I'm standing um, in an elevator and it's stuck. Imagine how terrible this could be for people to be stuck on an elevator. So that would be very, very complicated. Okay, oh no, are you okay? Yeah, wait. Mm -hmm. What is the company? It is moving now. Okay, look at this. Okay, wait. It is moving now. So that's mean that it, it was a stock, but then it started to work. So it, it, it is moving now. Thanks, goodness. That is a good news. Okay, we could uh, complete the conversation. So that's why in the picture, you see the lady uh, touching the bottoms of the elevator and because it was a stock, but at the end it worked because she was telling him and that uh, she was, you know, stuck. Okay, look at the conversation number two. And um, Mercy, how... Are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? Okay. Uh, you say, Justin, enjoying your shopping trip. Wow. Have you had, have you had a shopping trip? Have you had a, a shopping trip? Yes, no. Yes, I have have. Yeah, that's good. People have enough money to buy a lot of things. So you're going from one store to other one. You go to the mall looking for things, products. So you're having a good time buying things. Like you can see the picture, right? That the lady on the phone, she got a bag. And maybe the guy going with her, he has a lot of gifts and presents and boxes. That was a shopping trip. Yeah. Interesting. Look at this one. Your shopping trip. We are having a very having a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun. Okay, that's great. So because they have money and they have a lot of things to buy definitely that they are having fun they are enjoying this time that's the way okay um next one is your brother spending a lot of money Okay, let's see. Is your brother spending a lot of money? Okay, that sounds great. 
Is your brother spending a lot of money? That's great. No. Mom, um, he... He's buying only one or two things. That's all. Do you believe then? <laughs> no. <laughs> there are a lot of boxes and presents and bags. Yeah. So that's why mom is like, you know what? And okay, that's all. Uh, only one or two things. Two bags, a lot of boxes, you know. But that's okay. We just have fun with that. Well, congratulations. I saw that we could, you know, complete this statement. And that's great. So we have some other exercises that we're going to try with the goal to, you know, try to form the present continuous in a very natural way, especially when we're talking about something that is happening in a period of time. Okay, look at this one. If you remember, we said that the present continuous also is called present progressive. So fill in the present progressive, use the birds in brackets. He often buys a new notebook. Look, he's buying a notebook again. And then we have a one to eight. Like he usually goes to school. Look, he, and you had to use the present continuous to form the statement. So I will give you a couple of minutes to socialize the possible answers about this exercise here. So check the sentences and then we will have a feedback of the exercises that you have done. The goal is that you do it by yourself and then we compare it our answers. Let's start.
Okay. Everything okay now? Good. Is still working or finished? Finished. Okay, someone else finished? Finished. Yeah, finished. Excellent. Okay, so let's answer in this exercise. So I will change my screen. And I think this one, that will be much better. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Mm, this one. Well, to highlight the words, I will use capital letters. Number one. Going. He's going. Okay, perfect. He's going to school. Yes. Look at the number two. He's drinking. 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 Okay, he's drinking coffee. Great. That's that's great. Okay, next. Number three. I'm swimming. 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 Oh, I am swimming. Okay, great. Number four. He's washing. She's washing. She's washing her hair, okay? Yes. Okay, she's washing her hair. Great example. Number five. It is drinking. It is? Drinking. It is drinking its milk. Okay, yeah, talking about a cat, right? So it's drinking its milk. Great job, so with that. Number six. We are dancing. Okay, so we use contractions. We are dancing. Only that we're using capital letters. So in that case, I will switch. Okay, sometimes dance is in the living room. So we are dancing in the living room. Number seven. Are running. They are running. running. Let's use contractions. They are okay. They are running uh, to church. Okay, so that is a good way to go to church. Running, <laughs> that is a good way. Next, uh, the last one. You're writing. And in contractions. You're writing. Yes. So you're writing an email so you can check the answers here. So we can compare it now, um, the, the use of present continues uh, with the verb be and the verb plus ing form to, you know, to say it about something that is happening um, right now at a period of time in a moment. Okay, let's, let's see um, the next exercise here. Well, do you have a question before we continue? Move on to the next slide. No, for the moment? No. No, not for the moment. Okay. Great for you, great for me. <laughs> next, the next one. Okay, we have uh, the next exercise. I want you to uh, check this part. You had to fill in the present progressive like the previous exercise. Well, we continue with the nine until 15. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to complete these exercises. So what we had to do is that we had to follow the same structure. I will check in this moment, meanwhile you work in this exercise, the, the attendant list. So check the, check the exercises and I will 
and I'll pass the attendees. Look at the chat so you can see the exercises there. One moment. Okay, let's check the attendance. Uh, Anna Isela Janis? Present. Uh, Anna Ruth Perez? Anna? She's absent. Anna? She's absent. Carlos Ernesto Flores? It's not Carlos. And David Alejandro Rodriguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Eh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Eric. Present. Eh, Fiorella Present. Alejandra Crespín. Present. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. Gerardo. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid. She's not. Um, Jorge Francisco López. Present. Juana Margarita Sea. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine eh, Nicole Salazar. Catherine Nicole. She's not here. Eh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Eh, ¿Se encuentra Katy? Present. Laura Lisset Peña. Laura. She's not. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Let's see. Okay, Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Mirna. She's not. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar. Present. Present. Eh, okay, Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina. She's not. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Abigail Rodriguez. Tatiana. She's not. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Úrsula. She's not either. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Is Wendy. She's not either. Okay. All right, so in this moment, before we conclude our class, we're going to check the answers together. So, teacher, sorry. 
Yeah. Okay. Eh, Ana Ruth, se me apagó el teléfono antes de que tomara asistencia. Y, y entré, volví a entrar hasta después. Um, uh, let's see. Ana Ruth Pérez. Uh, Pérez, right? Yeah. Uh, let me see. One second. Ok, uh, one second. Thank you. No sé si a mí me escuchó. Que dije present. One second, let me check. What is your name? Katy Dos Cruces. Yes, yes, I, I saw you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Ok, is here Carlos Ernesto Flores? I think he's not, right? Carlos Ernesto Flores, he's not, he's not here. Okay. Well, let's check the last exercise. Teacher, I'm Hi. sorry. Uh, did you call me? Your name? Uh, Gerardo Chetepas. I'm sorry, but I have some problem with my computer. Uh, Jose Tepas, let me check. Yeah, no. Okay, it's updated. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Okay, let's uh, conclude the last one. Uh, number one, number nine, mother cooks in the kitchen. Mother it's is cooking. cooking, right? The mother is cooking in the kitchen. Number 10. Is eating. Is eating a banana. Great. So we can see this answer. And number 11. Are watching. Think. We are? Think. Watching at. I'm watching. Watching at the moment. So we are watching at the moment. Okay. And number 12. Are having. Are having their breakfast. Number 13. Is driving. Is driving. Is driving a little red car. And the number 14. Swimming. Or swimming. Remember that we had to include the bird B. Penguins are swimming. So you can check here the ex exercises. Second and the last, but not the least. The children always are eating. Are eating, eating. Are having their breakfast. Okay, the, the children always are having their breakfast. It's a kind of routine. Okay, it's something that um, it's very common. Look at that. Okay, okay, students. So congratulations for the practice. It was definitely important. We hope to see you uh, tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you. Good, Good evening. Tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night to Thank everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye.